Hi, my name is Kiri. I'm 25 years of age. And my life isn't going to plan. This is normally when I feel like this and I do this and go, Aye! but you can tell my energy is. Um, we're going to talk about my energies, but I'm not going to force it. I'm authentic, you know. And sometimes I come and go, I can't, ah! <laughs> I can't be always doing this stuff. Especially from what I've just experienced in the last 30 seconds ago. So this is what my energy just. Yeah, I'm a normal person. I haven't always got ADHD. So it's 30 seconds ago. And the girl Kiri seeing for a long time is crying and it makes Kiri upset and Kiri wrote to her we're not going to screenshot it but he wrote to her oh you're crying and me crying as well I said Bambi and I'm basically Bambi and I say I have Bambi legs because I recently went to the chiropractor yesterday so editors you can put a video it's really and cut a long long story short i knew i had balance issues for a while even to the point where i sit like this she even said like how oh, i sit like this because i'm compensating cut a long story short my next here on the right side is like i was getting um headaches which was relating to my early little bit so just a lot of issues i went on the this these like scale things and you can see your balance the left side was 29 point something and the right was 34. You're meant to only be two points different, so I'm five points. And this is the point where, and you probably won't be able to see it. If I stand like this, can you see like I'm kind of moving a bit? I have to, you won't be able to see it, but I have to do this. Oh, bye bye early fans. I have to like point my toe like this and then I'm all right. But if I just stand normally, I'm like, floating and i didn't even realize this like for so long but i always compensate and i push to this side because this side is a bit more stronger and obviously what's happened with my ear and i probably haven't spoke about it enough but it was like last june um editors will try and put a video there here we are with an ear infection let me know i'll try and find something but yeah last june i basically had like some virus some cold lambrinitis they call it some fucking bullshit and then obviously i said i remember this video is back on my channel if you go back back you can see it in it oh the sad days <laughs> i was gonna start crying but it was so difficult and i like, i lost my hearing for like two weeks whatever and even now if i be quiet I can hear the tiniest bit of ringing. It's like tinnitus and I, I kind of accept it. It's kind of sad, but we went to the doctor. I've improved a lot, but again, like this, is, this can cause balance issues to the point where before man has a belt in public and he's like pulling like this side and I've never even noticed it because I'm compensating with my balance. As long as we have all of this being fucking tight and everything and man's got a fucking, the right side here is stronger than the left side, isn't it? Look, like this is just, Man's moving like this, so I know in time with the chiropractor and with everything and you know some of the things that the doctors told me, I'll take. So basically if you want to like sleep deep, you take like melatonin, that's what he said. So just save you some money. If you've got like a problem and you need your body to proper like recover during its sleep, you can take melatonin and it's helping me like sleep more deeper. Um and and it's helped a lot, especially with the headaches, because I'm getting, this sounds so boring, but I'm just going to keep it real. If you don't like it, switch it off. I'm sorry, man. I just have to speak about the truth. I'm sorry. And life's hard, you know. Can't always go, ah, and all this shit, bro. Um, but essentially, what's happening is, because this is not transmitting the message, it's my brain keeps refocusing, and it causes more vestibular headaches, like hard headaches. It's like hurting a lot of headaches. Now I hardly got it, even today. I had a little bit of tension and I keep getting some of it in the morning and it is difficult and that's why I have this tennis ball and some of these exercises and here we go here's the exercises Yee! so I have to like, try and do this three times a day and I'm like chucking this like this I'm looking at the coordination like this so I'm not gonna lie this has been 
<coughs> this came in June last year. So it's been over a year and we never even understood what it was and I understand and I'm much, much, much better. But again, it's, it's still here. And like now this is this this is more tight here and here. And I was fixed and man's just floating like this and it's just fucking like all of this shit, especially after man got fucking ill with his bowels and now my bowels are all right basically and I don't not rush into the toilet. All of this shit started the end of 2022 and we're in July 2024 and I've still got fucking health issues, like I've still got problems. It's like when will I ever be normal? It's just so hard. It's so difficult and that's why I always say to you, I understand you because we're always fighting different things. Obviously, obviously I always keep it real and I tell you lot, like I've said my, my ear thing, I should have maybe spoke about it once or twice a bit more um, if I'm being truthfully honest, but I've spoken about it as much as I can and I'm always saying I understand whatever you're going through because if my thing is a physical health problem, of course God has to attack me because he knows in the mental we're too strong and he has to... Up and down. He has to do all of this shit And your problem might be like a family problem Or something else and whatever And I'm telling you it's life It's life Life will never fucking go to plan And I understand you But the one thing I always want you to adopt is strength Is strength to know I've been suffering For stupid health Stupid fucking po po oh, Balance issues and bowel Things that affect me like more or less every day For one and a half years and yet I can still have a smile on my face because I am grateful, but it's so fucking difficult. So man's just about to work out and he's like this and whatever comes on his phone. And then his main girl is upset basically because I'm seeing another girl. And obviously whatever she knows and I'm open and I'm, I always have to keep it transparent. But I know how it hurts her and it hurts me as well. Maybe not to the extent, but I know it hurts her. I know it because she's known me since 2021 for like three years and she's like naturally I know and she's so speaking to me so honestly and it upsets me so much and we're probably going to call her after this and whatever but it's just like it's hard you know it's very hard isn't I know I always say like isn't there, there's not always solutions something just take time and a lot of work you know it's not like quick fix and you're going to have to suffer and have pain and, it's, and I was basically saying, oh, the other girl's got a free yard and I'm probably going to see her and like, oh, it's a new pussy or whatever. And again, I know it's hard to hear, especially for a girl. And she, she understands, she's like, oh, she, I understand it's just sex and I understand it's this. But it's like, she said something to me and she says, come a bit closer. <laughs> We're still trying to implement our stuff. <laughs> she says to me, it's like, she naturally wants to pull away and I get it. She like she wants to like take her feminine energy off. It's like she's big on energy, you know, and it's like I'm putting my energy elsewhere and I get it. And it's hard because like I'm not gonna give her like loyalty or, or commitment. I'm not gonna give any girl commitment, you know, and girls will all like me. Oh look at me, they're gonna like me. So it's very difficult, you know. Imagine if I go if I start when I start travelling or whatever and seeing other girls and making videos of other girls, it's gonna be hard. So there's not always simple solutions. The best thing I can always tell you is to be honest and have communication and also to always have that hope. This hope and this idea of like, oh, I'll be okay with that girl and I'll be okay one day with my balance and everything, just like I did a year ago. Editors, we can put a photo of what I looked like when I was ill. And the man would sit here and he would stare at that wall and he said, please, God, whatever, I'll do anything to not be like this. Well, I got my wish and I got a fucking balance issue. But it's like, I may have this health issues and you may have like finance issues or someone else may have like their, their parents issues or toxic household issues or pornography issues or all the issues and all of them at once. And it's just too fucking much and it's normal. The difference is to always, and the most important thing is to always have hope. And I do have hope, even when times like this when man's basically started crying and he doesn't feel like recording, but I have to keep it real. I've been suffering for a long time. And I'm scared that I'm gonna build a life that I'm not gonna be able to enjoy. Why do I get these stupid balance issues? And why do I have this bowel condition? 
but it's life and it makes it ever so sweet because I remember when I was worse before and I smile. But that's not to say you're not going to get hard moments along the way. I'm so proud of myself for documenting. I'm so proud of myself for being myself. Because one day, I'm going to see it and you're going to see it and everyone will see it because it's on YouTube. And one day they'll ask me, Kiri, what does this moment mean to you? And I'm going to say it means the world. Because I've told everyone what I've been through and I've displayed my struggles because I've been strong enough to. There is no sunshine without a lot, of, a lot of rain. And you're going to experience the sunshine and so am I. It's just going to take time and when it does, it makes it ever so more fulfilled. Here's my sunshine turning into apple. The fruits of your labour. It makes it worth it, is what I'm trying to say. I can watch this in a few days, even a few months, and I will probably laugh. Because this Kiri didn't know what was coming. Just like the Kiri back then didn't know what was coming. But I can be proud and not- Oh, cringe in Paris and look at you crying on the internet, you f***ing bitch boy. I can be proud because I'm courageous enough and I'm brave enough to be my true self. <laughs> if you've got any questions, let me know. I'm here for you. I'm going to try and record some more videos now. We'll see if I do. Everyone always tells me because they're like, oh, the vest hasn't moved up. I mean, purposely moving the vest. Um, so I'll see if I do. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you. Any questions, let me know. Take care. Thank you. If you want to fuck with these girls today and get all of this as well, or join my school, link in the description below. Mm -hmm.